And thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. Off the top, a $25 million wrongful death lawsuit has been filed against a former Washington football player. That lawsuit connected to a deadly crash in 2021 that killed his girlfriend. Fox 5's Stephanie Ramirez looking into that lawsuit. She joins us live in Loudoun County. And Stephanie, tell us more about what this paperwork is saying. Yeah, Jacqueline Sherin. Well, even though former Commanders player DeShazer Everett was not sentenced on manslaughter charges, this wrongful death lawsuit claims his negligence was a direct cause in the death of 29-year-old Olivia Peters. A portion of the lawsuit reading, Defendant Everett breached his duty to drive in a safe and reasonable manner by, among other things, speeding, driving recklessly, failing to maintain control of his vehicle, and engaging in racing on the evening of December 23rd, 2020. Everett pled down to reckless driving and was sentenced to three months of house arrest last year. He also made this public service announcement. I wish I could make you see how bad it could be. I wish that I would have listened to people like me before, telling me to drive the speed limit no matter what. And he was also thrown from the vehicle in that same crash. He has since spoken about it, calling it an accident. But the lawsuit goes into text messages and conversations claiming that he and three others purposefully met up that night to show off and race their cars on public roads. The lawsuit also says Everett's 2010 Nissan GTR was equipped with nitrous oxide, which the lawsuit says is illegal in Virginia. It also says the car had specialty competition racing tires made to be used in warm temperatures only. It was after nine at night to December 23rd, 2021, when Everett's Nissan went off the roadway by Gum Spring and Ticonderoga Roads. The car hit a tree, flipped, Peters was killed. Her family told Fox 5 at the time the 29-year-old was an occupational therapist with practices in Las Vegas and New York City at the time. The wrongful death lawsuit was filed on behalf of the victim's mother, who is responsible for her daughter's estate. Ladies. Stephanie, you said three other people were involved here. Were they named in this lawsuit, and do we know who they are? Yeah, Jacqueline, they are. One person is identified as an auto shop owner living in the Chantilly neighborhood. The other two are current Washington Commanders players identified as Jamin Davis and Benjamin St. Juice. This lawsuit is basically calling those three conspirators, saying that they all planned together with Everett, also encouraging him, alleging that they all knew what they were doing was illegal. Now, guys, no one connected to this lawsuit has responded to us today. Uh, no court date has been set yet. The Commanders are not commenting either but when there's more information we'll be sure to get it to you on fox 5 back to All you right, Steph. we know you'll stay ahead of this one for us thank you